Well, active listings as well are down 21% from 2020. That's an interesting. Yes. Again, limited inventory. Yeah. For yeah. However, this thing with Zillow, where they've decided to get out of the fix and flip. 10,000 houses. They're so, um, but here's the benefit that you're going to see from that. You're going to have move in ready homes mm -hmm. that people have now, they've been competing with Zillow to buy. Uh, they're not going to have that issue now because Zillow isn't going to just put these out on the market. They're going to, you, you don't sell 7,000 houses. It's actually 9,800. Okay. You don't sell 9,800 yeah. at once. Well, the uh, first, you, the first tranche is 7,000 for 2.8 billion. Okay. Yeah. You're going to sell those to <laughs> institutional <laughs> investors. Crazy. So the good news is you're going to have a lot of homes uh, or if you're a first time home buyer and you're trying to find a home, you're not competing with the institutional buyers because they're going to be buying up these homes from Zillow. First. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, that there's a lot of them. Zillow paid like, I mean, they were offering 20% over retail, which is nuts. Yeah. And, and they were going in and fixing them up after that. So they yeah. were really, really off on the numbers that they were working with, which is kind of crazy. And, you know, this is a common sense show. That's a perfect example of not using common sense in, well, in what you're doing. It, right? They had lots of cash and they are a marketing company first and foremost. Right. And they decided to get into the fix and flip business. And I would imagine their acquisition managers, people buying the houses were all probably untrained, brand new. Um, sure or they, sitting sure they, on a load of cash going, Hey, we can pay whatever we want. Right. I'm sure they weren't, you know, commission based off of <laughs> right. put under contract. Right. Or well, open door pays <laughs> Probably more, not. Than, more than book too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's, there's, so, you know, talk well, about, they all do. Well, I talk about, you know, what's happening in my, my neighborhood a lot. So my neighbor's house got, you know, it closes with Zillow here in the next a week or so. Um, but then I wonder if they'll go through with it. We'll see. Um, hmm. And then a few houses down another neighbor, they listed their house for even more. <laughs> and, and they got a one on the first day, they got a cash offer of over asking price from a company that's going to uh, basically um, do a um, like lease option purchase. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, they make interesting on the, on the, on the, on the and that's yeah. the way to do it. That's yeah. a, that's a wise move actually. Mm -hmm. Wow.